Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20. This is episode 21, Home on the Range Rovers, our Forest Green save. After last episode, we had the back-to-back -back wins. We got two more wins. We beat Binghampton, uh, Bir Binghampton. I'm, I'm thinking of another save, I think. Uh, Birmingham, we beat them 2-1. to one. Farron Rawson and Harvey White got the goals there. And then we beat Southampton 2-0. Aaron Collins and Adam Ida with goals. Marin Pilge was sent off early in the first half with a straight red card. We did make it stand up, played well, and uh, did not surrender a goal. And then our form just went to shit. <laughs> we lost 1-0 to Barnsley. Uh, drew nil nil with Leeds, which wasn't a bad result. Uh, two two draw with Reading. Um, problem here is we were up two nil uh, at, in, after 50 minutes, and we gave up uh, a 90 second minute equalizer. So stoppage time equalizers are always great, aren't they? Uh, then we lost to Derby. Ashley Hunter with the lone goal after we were two nil down, and uh, I saw Tyler Roberts went to Derby. That, that just hurts right here, you know. Uh, Tyler Roberts, of course, currently plays for Leeds in real life and not a big fan of Derby. So uh, then Wigan uh, beat us 2-0 as we continued uh, our poor form. And we beat Luton 3-0. Adam Ida, Dominic Ball, Ashley Hunter with the goals. Yes, I was supposed to come back for Wigan and Luton and... I could tell you it was because Bristol City's first and Swansea are fourth in the table, uh, but I just forgot. So, full disclosure, I forgot. Um, I was so engrossed with our poor form, I was like, holy shit. And then we won, and I was like, all right, when, are we, when do we come back? And I went, oh, I was supposed to come back for these two matches. So, uh, today we're playing Bristol City and Swansea. Uh, so, let's go ahead. Let's pop into the squad real quick. Take a look at uh, goal scoring and stuff, because I know several of you guys like that. Five goals for Adam Ida, uh, loans uh, are loney. Four for Harvey White back in the midfield, and three for Aaron Collins, our old stalwart uh, striker that we own. Two for Ashley Hunter, so we've got five between the pair. And uh, yeah, then we've got a you know what's that? Six guys with one apiece. Uh, C c contributing you know that's all we can ask for so uh, finance wise let's take a look there uh, we have 380,000 in the bank uh, we have made 211,000 this uh, season but we are losing money every month uh, 154,000 right now uh, hopefully with a couple of home games we'll get a rebound on that but remember, we learned last episode, we do not get any cut of the away gates. So the only thing we get, and I don't need these on. I was listening to a press conference uh, while I was waiting for to get to the game. So yeah, we really need a stadium expansion. I think to do that, we're going to have to get established here in the championship, finish high enough to make some money, boost our overall balance, and try to get the board to do the expansion again. If they don't do it on their own. I have had that happen in a solo save that I'm currently playing. So uh, that's that was interesting. I didn't know that would happen. But uh, anyway, uh, that's what's going on there. And real quick, let's take a look at team dynamics. Everything is still good. Locker room's going up again. Uh, leadership, you know, that's good, especially with the recent losses. So they rebounded really quickly. And in the hierarchy, uh, we've got Freer, McGinley, and Rawson, our team leaders. And we've got 24 players that support us and only one, Lucas Talbro, that uh, has no opinion. So really good support there. Very happy with the cohesion at this point. And let's get to it. We're going to be uh, playing uh, Ida up top, Collins and Necklebar on the wings, White and Pills in the central mid, Adams at the base of the mid, Wharton and Williams on the defensive wingers, and McGinley, Ross, and pairing up in the center, O'Malley in goal. Let's get to it. Yes, I know we only have six. We really need to 
you know, I want to see some players develop, but until we get until we get our youth uh, facilities built up, I don't think we're going to see much of that. We haven't been playing badly. Um, you know, promotions have come fast and furious for us. Well, there's a nice ball out to Williams. So, um, you know, it's not going to surprise me if we struggle here. But it is what it is. Uh, so I'm recording this on Saturday. You guys will probably see this next week. Uh, oh, there's a header. Bright and knock a bar with his second goal of the season. Scott Wharton with the assist. Uh, so Premier League started today. Uh, well, actually, football in England started today. Um, I drove down um, Leeds United. Turns out they have quite a few fans in Houston. And uh, so we uh, kind of started hooking up about a week ago. And uh, one of the guys, and I think he's a moderator on Leeds United America, uh, which is a an American main group. And then you have subgroups, uh, you know, in the state you know different states and different areas so uh he he started up a uh, a thing and they found a place that showed games and would would put the leads game on for us and uh we had about 20 people show up and uh so i think uh, one of the things i'm going to do on the channel because i do like football is uh we are going to do and, and i'm going to be able to catch a oh, good cut inside he deserved a better finish um, but I think what I'm going to do is at, you know, like immediately after the match, I'm just going to do a recording of, um, you know, basically a, uh, you know, post-match, you know, recap and, um, you know, my opinion on it, you know, and, you know, there's a lot of fans out there, not just Leeds fans that lose their mind. You know, if you miss, if you miss one shot, you're the worst player ever and you should be, you know, cut and sold and, you know, drawn and quartered and whatnot. Pretty dominant first half there for us. I am liking that. Let's uh, ask this guy, Wharton, to take it easy. And we will get back out. Let's ask him for some creativity here in the early going. But uh, anyway, I put my first one up today. And they're just going to be real short. I think it was about five minutes. Uh, live recording, just, you know, on my phone. So the sound quality won't be as good as here oh a knock a bar stole that one and poked away he gets it back loses it again jeez that's poor oh hello oh that's brutal i feel bad for o'leary his defender put that right on the line but that was a good job keeping pressure on him right there Lamarchand, yeah, I think he put it to the wrong side of the keeper. Should have put it farther out here. He didn't have anybody pressing in the center. Uh, that is good. Let's put some praise on him, and let's go ahead and make a sub. Let's pull Wharton off for Shepard on the left side there. And let's bring uh, let's bring let's bring Elliot Freer. Let's get him some game time. We're going to have to watch some of these guys for, uh, you know, making sure they get enough playing time. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy watching those or checking them out. And, again, it's just my opinion. I want to try to be level-headed about it and, you know, really put, uh, put some thought into it and not be, you know, not just be cutting guys down. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and slow the pace down with the keeper. Let's give him another spot of praise. And we're going to cruise this one. 2-0 it looks like. Maybe 2-1. Might be a little early. <laughs> oh, right in the corner of the net. That was brutal. Again, in stoppage time. We did everything that we could there to slow it up and turn it off, but what are you going to do? Well, excellent efforts. Everybody's happy. 
I'll be right back and we'll talk about the Liverpool game. I mean, you can go watch the episode, but we'll talk about it a little bit. And Bristol loses the top spot. By the way, uh, we are currently fourth position right in this uh, big group uh, battling for those playoff spots. We'll be right back. All right, we are back for Swansea. We're on the road, so I dialed it back to positive. You know, the one big thing I took out of the match today with Leeds and Liverpool was the fact that, you know, we went down on a, on a penalty early in the first, what, four or five minutes. Uh, we could have folded up shop. And, uh, you know, if we would have been less mentally tough, it might have happened. But, uh, you know, the team fought back and very, oh, here's a break opportunity, um, you know, and then continue to fight back. And we were 3-3 three, three late. And, uh, you know, then that, that late penalty in the final three minutes uh, for Sala to get the hat trick, I uh, was... I was gutted that we didn't get the point because I think we deserved it. Uh, we ended up with better possession. They dominated the game statistically for sure, which I expected, but I think we showed a lot of poise, uh, a lot of perseverance. Uh, I think we showed that our, our players can compete at that level between today's match against Liverpool, who, who you know ran the table last year, and just dominated the Premier League. And, you know, what we did against Arsenal last season in the FA Cup against a strong side. Uh, you know, they did not put uh, reserves in that in, in that match. So I think we've shown that we can play. I, you know, I was thinking coming into this game that we could easily get run. Oh, that's brutal. That was not good. All right, we are going to go back up to positive. And I'm going to take that trap off because they're able to run past us. So, you know, if we can play like that, you know, we're not going to compete for Champions League or even Europa League. I mean, I, I get that, right? Um, you know, being realistic. We're not going to be top six, but it's funny. I, I've been looking at projected finishes and, and people have us going anywhere from eighth to going down, uh, <laughs> you know, so it's, uh, it's a wide range of what people think is going to happen to Leeds this year. If, if we can, you know, if we can be competitive, not win, not take any points from the top six teams, right? We're really not going to be any worse off than anybody outside of the top six to begin with, correct? Because those top six, good finish by Nico Williams, his second of the season. Uh, let's ask him to get creative here. Um, but then if, if we can go out and beat consistently, not beat, not three points all the time, but if we can take points and find wins against Fulham, West Brom, and, you know, Aston Villas, you know, those clubs, uh, you know, that Brighton, that, you know, should be bottom half of the table, we'll be all right. I think, we'll, I think we can get enough points if we can do that. Now, it's still a big if, and I get that, and it is only one game. But, but, I'm, as I said, I, I picked us to lose 3-0. So, uh, I thought, we, you know, I didn't think we would get run, uh, I, you know, but I was, I was thinking we would get dominated. And statistically, we did to a point, and we won't get a hundred percent, you know, shot conversion ratio. That's just not going to happen, right? But um, I feel a lot better. Back door. 
Um, let's take, I was looking at the wrong guy, but still, I'm going to bring Freer back on, and let's bring Liam Shepard on for Nico Williams. Shepard's important enough, I don't want him to lose focus. But anyway, I, you know, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. We're playing well, competitive again. Oh my God, I think that went in. Hello? Yeah, that went in. That might be the first goal line technology that is a goal. It was not a goal. All right. It sure looked like it was in the net. Come on, boys. Taken down in the box by McGinley. Oh, and I think our keeper was already jumping before he kicked the ball. That looked like Mo Salah's uh, second penalty today. The one thing is, you know, because I typically never watched. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That's going to be brutal. Y'all need to score so that makes sense. Come on. Yeah, that's that's not going to look good with the guys that I praised them for dropping it. Uh, let's go up to attacking. Oh, there's a good finish. You know what? Let's pull it back to positive then. <laughs> there's the praise. That's what I was wanting to praise, right? They knew what it was all about. Let's take him off. Let's bring Kai Kennedy on that right side. I think so. Tim. Actually, you know what? Let's bring uh, Ashley Hunter over there. Oh, don't don't give up another late goal here. Oof. I'll be happy to get out of here with a point. I mean, if we can pull, you know, maybe we can sneak a goal here. That would be nice. All right, there's the overlap. Shepard. Oh, uh, look at Hunter. Hunter, oh, no. We had a shot. I do like the Swansea badge. It's one of my favorite badges, I think. No, oh, that was poor. Put some pressure on him. Come on, come on. Blow the frickin' whistle. Don't blow the whistle. Don't blow the whistle. Oh, we've got four minutes left. Oh, God, Hunter, horrible. All right, let's tighten up. All right, we'll take a point. I think I think this is the opposite. We outplayed them, and they just had the better night with chances. Three clear cuts, two goals. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. All right, so we've got, we've got some international duty coming up. Stokes' job is vacant. Am I interested? I'm going to say no. <laughs> uh, so I'm... I don't think there's much to those stories. All right, well, seven key passes. We'll praise his passing. All right, well, third, third in the table, 30 points, just two off the lead, but just one from falling out of playoff competition uh, the good news is at uh, 30 points we are 20 points 
above Wednesday for relegation places. So that's good. You know, you want to build, you know, Cardiff, you know, maybe they should have, you know, they would have hired me. They offered me the job. Oh, well, but Leeds should have offered me a job, huh? <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the notification bell if you want uh, your email updates when new videos go up 11 o'clock every day, Monday through Saturday, alternating days for football manager and currently my alternative save is a little graveyard uh, it's a little building game uh, called graveyard keeper it's, it's fun and it's uh you know it's there so uh anyway check that out if you haven't uh, let me know what you think about it if you got anything to talk about for the soccer game here football game i know i said soccer jesus i'm an american let me cut me some slack uh but the football match this one football manager or uh, the leeds liverpool Hit me up in the comments. It would be nice to talk some football, uh, some real football as well. Uh, but anyway, take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.